Hello everyone. So I came up with one more set of interview questions which are asked as part of Capgemini and this session is completed within 20 minutes. The reason is candidate was not answered properly and the panel is mostly focused on the basics of the Java and as well as the basics of the Spring Boot framework initially and the person was not good. That's the reason he just closed the interview in 20 minutes itself. Maybe the candidate is answered very well with respect to these basic questions. Maybe he would have entered into more practical questions also. So anyway, we can find out those questions what are being asked as part of uh, the initial basics point of view. So here he was completely focused on just knowing about what is the serialization, how you are going to avoid uh, variables from the serialization process and how you are going to override uh, overriding the methods and with respect to that, how what are the use cases about private methods and static methods over method overriding and then what is the default methods and what, what scenarios we have to use default methods in our day-to-day -day application development and then he was just moved to the Spring Boot basics again what are the different HTTP methods available and especially the difference between put and patch method and how Spring Boot application annotation is working and what is the actuator module as part of Spring Boot and what is the frantic controller design pattern and any example for that that means he was expecting here internally the dispatcher satellite information and how the spring web module is designed that is what he was expecting here it is and similarly he was just expecting like the exception handling as part of the application development by following the core java techniques as well as spring boot framework point of view how we are handling the exceptions that is the reason he asked this question here it is and after that how you are achieving the authorization process that means we know that what is an authorization nothing but spring security module so how you are enabling the authorization with respect to token based authentication like JWT, WAT, something like that and stateless versus stateful and when you, what is the stateless, what is the stateful. By default HTTP protocol is stateless or stateful and if you want to achieve stateless, stateful, what kind of techniques you have to follow. So that kind of basic information he was expected as part of these sessions. So what we have to understand from this session here it is, we have to be very much stronger in basics and fundamentals always whether it is a programming language and framework. Yeah, then only we are going to clear the interviews. That's what I would like to say here it is.